Let's see the summary of the story, The Making of a Scientist by Robert W. Peterson. Richard H. Bright at the age of 22 stunned the scientific community with his innovative theory on cells. This article was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. For Richard, this success started with butterflies. Richard Bright grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. As an only child, Bright collected things like rocks, fossils and butterflies to amuse himself. By second grade, Bright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found in Reading. Ebright's interest in butterflies might have waned after the 8th grade had it not been for the book The Travels of Monarch. The book charted the migration of monarch butterflies from the United States to Central America. At the end of the book, readers were invited to study butterflies and tag them for research. Inspired by the book, Ebright decided to tag his own butterflies. However, the butterfly season in Reading was only six weeks which made it difficult for a bright to tag many butterflies. So he decided to breed monarch butterflies in his basement. Then in seventh grade, after losing in the county science fair, a bright learned that real science was about experiments rather than displays. His competitive spirit was kindled and he wrote to the author of The Travels of Monarch Ten, Dr. Ukua hurt for ideas. In 8th grade, Ebright tried to show that a species of beetle was responsible for a vital disease afflicting the monarch caterpillar. Though his project did not yield tangible results, Ebright did win an award for effort. In 9th grade, he tested the theory of high visceral butterflies copy monarch butterflies for their survival. This time he achieved success in the county science fair. In high school, he thought of a simple question that would have life-changing implications for his career. Richard and a fellow science student worked on a device which would provide the answer to this question. This project gave him a chance to work at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. It also got him an entry into the International Science and Engineering Fair. He continued working on this project which won him the first prize at the International Fair and gave him a chance to work for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. As a next step in this project, a bride grew sales from the monarch's wing to expand on his theory. Next summer, after completing his first year at Harvard University, Richard went back to the Department of Agriculture. He succeeded in identifying the hormone's chemical structure. Following this, he discovered how cells would, could read their DNA. Peterson states that if Richard manages to prove his theory, it will revolutionize the understanding of life and life's processes. While working on expanding this theory with his colleague James R. Young, Ebright also graduated from Harvard University. Ebright Peterson writes, not only is a gifted scholar, but also a debate champion, an all-round sports person and an expert photographer. While competitive, Richard also believes in giving the best effort that he could. His scientific curiosity coupled with an intelligent mind and a will to win has given Richard every opportunity to become a brilliant scientist. Peterson believes this combination makes for an extraordinary scientist.